What is that? Okay, so Jason has just spotted something very interesting. And I look at that. Oh my god, so this is what is he called? Pepper. pepper. Okay, so I'm assuming Pepper is also a celebrity here. Mm -hmm. nice. And I am going to be honest, I have myself never ever seen a coloration like that. I mean for the regular viewers of Penguin Beach, I'm sure you guys know him, but I have never seen him, so excuse my excitement, but that is the most interesting coloration. Pepper, okay, that's a great name. Look at that. And maybe just to segue from an earlier question we had from, from someone regarding if penguins can get full black coloration. I mean, here's a perfect example of some kind of mutation which just affected the coloration along the head. To add some more white to the head that there should be and some black on the bottom. That is, the, that is so bizarre. So maybe this is a good place to mention. The thing with, with, with color mutations in animals is that considering most animals, their color the natural color serves some kind of ecological or environmental purpose, whether it's camouflage or defense dependence, of course. In the, in the penguin's case, it's obviously for defense. So I would imagine, given he's got the darker belly, for a predator to notice him from the bottom might be a little easier. So I'm just mentioning that's why often animals with an odd coloration don't necessarily survive as long as ones with normal coloration, but not always the case. Pepper is a perfect example here. One of my favorite coloration or rather patterns in animals would be a mottled coloration. So if you look at the front of Pepper's chest there, that sort of speckled bit, that is what you would call mottled. And I realize that's probably why I find Pepper so beautiful because it has mottled coloration or patterning rather and that is something I love in animals. Any animal with a mottled coloration to me is stunning.